Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, we were blackmailed and told to vote ally. No! By the great Dio. <laughs> the great ringleader Dio. Yeah. Ringmaster himself. All right, so an Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. That's such a long time. Sorry. I went ahead and cracked it open a bit early. Dio. In one of his in one of his hands was a moon key. He twirled it around like a veteran gambler, grinned, and slid it back into his pocket. You don't mind, right? I figured you and Clover would get up here right away. And besides, I thought it'd be best to get this done soon before you lose your nerve. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to the next round. Yeah, he already told us. Ugh. We glanced around the warehouse. Alice and Kay were back. As was Fi. And of course, Clover. Where are Tim Miyoji and the rest of them? They're in the infirmary. We carried Quark to one of the beds. Ten Miyoji and Luna are looking after him. I see. How's he doing? Well, it's hard to say. He seems to be sleeping soundly, but beyond that, there's really no way to know. No change then, huh? Right. So what was your room, Sigma? A laboratory. Is that so? Did it look like the kind of place where they'd be researching viruses and DNA and those kinds of things? Yeah, it did. Was there any of that Excelivir? Don't tell those other idiots that you found some Excelivir in here. I hear one word about it, and the next thing you hear will be little bits of glass shattering on the floor. My eyes flicked to Dio for a moment. No, nothing. Beside me, Clover bit her lip. I see. So how'd it go with you? Find anything interesting? Heh. <laughs> Find anything interesting? Ugh. Finally shook her head. With a unison of movement that almost looked choreographed, Allison Kay shrugged. Ow, sorry. Hmm. Where does that leave us? We still got about 40 minutes left until voting ends. What are you gonna do? I'm a little curious about that lab you found. I thought I might go take a peek at it. I'll show you the way then. That would be wonderful. I think I'll go have a look at the room Alice Kay and Temmioji found. Never know. Maybe you missed something. Perhaps there's some Excelivir hidden somewhere in there. Gah. What a bastard. Then I shall take you there. What about you two? Where are you going? I'll... I'll... Hmm. Well, I think I'll start by heading over to the infirmary to see how Quark's doing. Then I will too. Glad that's settled. She nodded to Clover, and they disappeared through the magenta door. Dio and Kay followed a few footsteps behind. I forgot that we look at the rooms during the polling time. Mm. Well, we got 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, then. Guess we should be going, too. Hold on. Show me that journal first. Uh... Dio told me about it. You wouldn't tell me anything about the lab, except that you found a journal with... his words. Some sort of bullshit language. You said you had it, so I was hoping I could take a look. Yeah. One sec. I dug the journal out of my pocket and handed it to Fi. She began to flip through the pages, her eyes quickly scanning each one. This is Latin. Latin? You mean you could read it? Yeah, with time and a dictionary. <laughs> so in other words, no. Pardon me for not being able to translate a dead language on the fly. This looks like some kind of research log. It's not going to be some sort of, I took the dog for a walk today. It was nice kind of stuff. I can understand a little of it, mostly conjunctions and things like that. 
But most of these words I've never even seen before. Vi started to leaf through the book again as she spoke. Then suddenly, she stopped. Wait. I can read this one. Page, page 216. This isn't research notes. It looks like a personal entry. What's it say? Don't rush me. I this took a dog a for a walk. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> Interesting. All right, I think I got it. It looks like they're talking about Radical Six. What? Why are they talking about that? Not sure. Let me read it to you. Keep in mind I'm paraphrasing. When the body is infected with Radical Six, the processing speed of the brain is reduced. If we assume the brain currently operates on a one-on-one -on -one basis with regards to time, Radical six reduce, reduces to one to the power of one, one six? One, one out of six. One, one six. One six, okay. Or approximately one to point four oh eight? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, one to the square root. Oh, uh, right, one to the square root. This is one out of six. Oh. This means that for each second that passes outside, the patient feels that only 0.408 seconds have passed inside. Therefore, when one second has passed inside, approximately 2.45 seconds or uh, the square, square root, root of six, six seconds yeah. have passed outside. In other words, when 10 seconds pass in the real world, a patient infected with radical six would feel as if only four seconds had passed. This is why the virus has been termed Radical Six. Oh. Radical is another term for what is known as the root operation, the function inverse to the taking of a power. In a less mathematical sense, it can also be used to refer to something that is extreme or severe. Those infected by Radical Six eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. The exact cause of this is unclear, and although there is as yet no direct link between suicidal urges and the reduction in mental processing speed, many believe that they are not unrelated. Those infected with Radical Six perceive the world to be moving at a fever pitch, as if it were a video cassette being fast-forwarded. For instance, although the patient believes that only 10 seconds have passed, in fact 24.5 seconds have passed. Given this increased speed of input, maintaining the ability to observe and reason would become a her 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 Herculean. Thank you, Herculean, whatever task. One theory holds that the disparity in time perception causes the brain to be flooded with massive amounts of information. Unable to keep it up, it begins to fail. Whatever the cause, the infected invariably attempt to take their own lives which is arguably the most terrifying aspect of this virus. Research suggests that a targeted antivi antiviral could kill or at least disable Radical 6, but we have been unable to develop one. It seems our best hope now is to harvest antibodies from someone with a natural immunity to the virus. Thus far, however, we have been unable to locate a suitable subject, so I have continued my efforts to discover an alternative means of treatment. Given my current rate of progress, I predict that I will have a workable treatment within a decade or two. It is my fervent hope that humanity will be able to survive that long. The bodies of those dead from suicide are piled up along the roads leading into and out of town. The entire area reeks with the stench of decay, and the sky is filled with the constant buzzing of flies. At times, their swarms are so thick that when one passes, it feels as if a cloud has gone over the sun. Ew. Every day I see more crows and rats are everywhere feeding on the dead. Ironically, the only healthy looking creatures are the stray cats who have grown fat on the plentiful rodent diet. The few humans who survived the outbreak have been locked away by the government in underground shelters. I don't know how many were saved, but I fear only a handful. Their survival is the only hope that remains for the human race. Oh Lord, please, let their future be a bright one.
That's a lot to translate. I know. That is a lot to tra- She's super smart. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of information. Now we know what the virus does to you, though. If you get infected, your brain slows down by the root of one-sixth. That's, what, about 40%? That isn't the important part. Those infected by Radical Six eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. Yeah, you're right. That would explain why Quark was, well, trying to kill himself. There are two other things in here that worry me. First, the part about how they haven't managed to develop a treatment for it yet. What do you make of that? What am I supposed to make of it? Maybe they just hadn't found one where this journal was written. I mean, from what we know, there's a drug called Excelivir that cures it. Exactly. But in the journal, it says it might take 20 years to make something like that. Oh, hold on a second. I'm getting confused. When was this thing even written? December 29th. No year. Well, there's no way it was written this year. Yeah, probably not. Anyway, moving on. The second concern I have is about the underground shelters it mentions. The newspaper article said something about quarantining people, too. After we read it, we all thought the same thing. What if this was one of those quarantine facilities? But this journal seems to suggest the opposite. The few humans who survived the outbreak have been locked away by the government in underground shelters. You're trying to say that this place might be one of those underground shelters. Which would mean we're all supposed to be uninfected. We would have been thrown in here to keep us safe. Yeah. I mean, there's no way to say for sure at this point, but it seems possible. But Quark's been infected, right? And maybe the virus got in somehow. That would be... bad. Just think about it for a minute. If this is one of those shelters, a lot of things start to make sense. Maybe we've been here for a long time. Like, maybe they put us to sleep somehow. Made us sleep for years, maybe even decades. While we were sleeping, the pandemic that the newspaper article talked about happened. And whoever had this journal made this entry. And then once the antiviral treatment was finished, they woke, to, they woke us up? Right. It's all just speculation, but... No, that doesn't make sense. I mean, it seems like a pretty plausible scenario, but... We were all captured before the pandemic started, right? Yeah. And how would they have put us to sleep for that long? How would they have known to do that? But most importantly, why the hell are we playing the nonary game if the point of this place is to save us? Throwing a bunch of people into a game that might kill them is a pretty weird way to protect them from a pandemic. Yeah, you're right. See? <laughs> See? I had to like I had to yawn. I know, I'm just teasing. We don't teasing. have enough information to make any real conclusions. I think we should see if we can find anything else. Bye had barely finished speaking before she took off for the magenta door. Hey! Weren't you coming to the infirmary with me? I've changed my mind. You can tell me about Quark later. <laughs> with that... She was gone. Man. I don't think I've ever gone through a door that opened up. Yeah. I've never, well, Very sci-fi. I guess a garage door. Yeah. Very like... Yeah. You're on the Enterprise or something. Yeah. <laughs> I let out a long, tired sigh and started off toward the infirmary. Just thinking about how doors open now. <laughs> How's he doing? He seems to be stable, as far as I can tell. Still sleeping. Let's see. Mind if I have a look? Please, go ahead. Come on, he's a cute kid. I made my way around the partition to the side of Quark's bed. 
The journal and the thing Fi and I had talked about would definitely need to be addressed, but for the moment, the AB game was what I needed to concentrate on. Lives were at stake. Mine, and Quark's. Those infected by Radical Six eventually develop a powerful urge to commit suicide. If the journal was telling the truth, then as soon as the anesthetic wore off, Quark would go insane again. What if we weren't able to restrain him a second time? What if he managed to kill himself before we got to him? Or perhaps he'd just get out of the infirmary and go hide somewhere. On the other hand, it wasn't like we could keep an anesthetizing. Anesthetizing? An I don't think I've ever heard it in that tense. Anesthesia, anesthesia. Anes anesthetizing. Yeah. Anesthetizing him forever. It just feels wrong. Yeah. There was only one way to save Quark, and that was with Excelivir. Fortunately, Dio had stolen it. If we wanted to get it back, Clover and I would have to vote ally. I thought I was going to say choose. <laughs> but if I did, there was an excellent chance I would end up dead. The question was then, what to do? Sacrifice myself to save Quark? I keep quiet about the danger he was in to save myself. It was so faint, I almost didn't hear it. Grandpa. Grandpa. He shifted a little, then fell silent again. It was enough, though. What on earth had I been thinking? How could I have even considered letting a child die in my place? Suddenly, my cheeks felt hot with embarrassment and disgust. That I had considered letting Quark die, even for a minute, was pathetic. There was only one choice. There had only ever been one choice. No way was I going to leave Quark to die. My hands tightened into fists as I looked down at him. Any uncertainty I'd felt before was gone. I knew what I had to do. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Looks like it's almost time. You two should head back. <laughs> what about you? Not going. I'm worried about Quark. But you're a solo. If you don't vote... I'll automatically ally. I know. I heard the voice on the intercom just like you. What are you gonna do if Kay and Alice vote betray? Nothing, I suppose. Just means I lost that round. I'd just be voting ally anyway. You know who my opponents are, right? Alice only has one BP left. If I pick betray and they chose ally, I'd kill her. I'm not so desperate to escape that I'm going to kill someone for it. And even if I was, I can't leave Quark behind. You see? Doesn't matter if I go into the AB room or not. My vote's the same either way. Temioji's mind was made up. Trying to persuade him to leave would have been pointless. Alright. Take care of Quark. Of course. You worry about yourself. Let's go. Okay. Luna and I headed out of the infirmary, leaving Tenmyoji and Quark behind. I really like the name Tenmyoji. It feels nice to say. Yeah. When we got to the warehouse, we found everyone else waiting for us. Well, not quite everyone. One other person was missing. Hey, where's Dio? Take a look at the doors. They're all closed. When we came in here before, the one on the far right was open. And that would mean... And then he went in, I guess. Exactly. That bastard. He'd probably been worried I might try and take the accelerator from him by force, so he'd hid himself in the AB room. What a coward. 
I made up my mind to choose ally, no matter what, but... Part of me had still considered trying to jump Dio if he dropped his guard. Now I'd made sure I wouldn't get the chance to try. Where's Tenmyoji? Oh, um... Luna explained Tenmyoji's choice. I see. Well, I guess that means I don't have to worry about him picking Betray. Right. What will you guys be choosing, then? Ally, of course. I, um... Because my BP is six, I assume. Yes. As long as Tenmyoji votes ally, I can't choose Betray. If I do, Kay's BP will go up to nine. But what if he forces you? <laughs> you needn't worry. I would never do something so crass. Really? Huh, of course. Huh, huh. Then you don't need to go in there. Excuse me? Alice can vote by herself. Then we don't have anything to worry about, right? Well, um... I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't agree to that. Why not? I just can't. Shall we go, Alice? Hey, hold on a minute there! Kay continued briskly towards the AB room as if he simply hadn't heard Fi. Alice scrambled to follow him, perhaps concerned that he would lock her out. Only seconds later, they disappeared into the third room from the left. I hope Alice is going to be okay. Well, there's nothing we can do now. If Kay told the truth, she'll be fine. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Time's almost up. Come on, Luna. Right. Right. <laughs> It's the she Luna jazz, pose. She jazz okay. hands. When, when she gets oh. when she gets stern, she does this thing that I really think is funny. Where she gets mad. <laughs> but like her head doesn't move, but the rest of her body does. She's like, you chose betray. <laughs> like that. It's kind of funny. Uh, I, you'll, I'll point it out when you when I can't she wait does to it. see it. They head off at a trot towards the second room from the right. And we're soon out of sight, but inside it. All right, Clover. Time for us to go. Oh, okay. Right behind you. I sighed to myself and headed towards the leftmost AB room. What are we gonna vote? Oh no! What if Give we me decides? Yeah. What if we still vote betray? <laughs> What are you gonna do? Oh. I don't really have a choice, do I? There's only one thing I can do. I'm gonna choose Ally. You can't! You'll die! Well, you never know. Just because Dio told us to Ally doesn't necessarily mean he's going to pick Betray. Do you really think a jerk like that is going to choose Ally if he doesn't have to? No. No way! He's got six BP right now. If he picks Betray, then he'll have nine points. Well, what about you? Huh? You got six BP too now, right? If Dio chose Ally and we chose Betray, then you'd have nine BP. W what? No, that's not... I didn't even realize that until you brought it up. Mm. I'm just trying to tell you that Dio was going to pick Betray. That's who he is! And I'm trying to tell you that I've made up my mind. That's who I am. The only choice is Ally. It's the only chance we have to get that medicine back. That's why Dio called you an IG! What makes you think he's going to give us the Accelivere, even if you do what he says? Maybe he won't, but I can guarantee that he'll destroy it if I pick Betray. That's who he is. Fine. If you aren't gonna listen to me, then I guess I don't have a choice. <gasps> I'll be pushing that button. Huh? Before I realized what was going on, Clover ducked past me and ran towards the voting machine. 
No! Stop! I snatched her by the arm and hauled backward with all my strength. Ow! Sorry. I guess that was a little too hard, huh? Hey! What do you think you're doing? You can't just throw a girl around like that. Well, you're the one who tried to trick me. But, but I, I, you're gonna die. Dio's going to kill you. You can't do this. I, I don't want you to die. Ten seconds remain until oh. Ambidex game polling closes. Gotta pick now. Thanks. It means a lot to hear you say that, Clover. I gave her my best reassuring nod and turned to face the polling machine. Three, two, one. My god! One. So, ally or betray? Ally. You wanna pick ally? Yeah. Alright. You think he's gonna pick ally? No. You think he's gonna betray well, us? I think it's a pure 50-50 chance. Ooh. Round I can see him doing both. The game I have a feeling he's completed. gonna choose ally. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Do you think Kay and Alice are gonna ally or betray Tenmyoji? Oh, let me rephrase that. With proper intonation. Do you think Kay and Alice are going to ally or betray Tenmyoji? I think they're gonna betray. I think Kay's gonna force her to betray. Ooh. And then what about because earlier uh, he was like, it's just logical. Like he's like a robot. And then Luna and Fi, I think their opponent's Quark. So yeah, they're not gonna betray him. They're yeah. gonna ally him because he's gonna automatically ally because he's not voting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna ally him. Thank you for your participation. That almost sounded sarcastic. Gates. Thank now you. <laughs> a very smug announcer voice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Clover and I stepped out of the AB room. She made. For several long moments, we just stared at one another. June and I stared at each other. We didn't know what to say. Maybe we get to go to Atlantis. <laughs> Atlanta. Oh, that's right. He says Atlanta, not Atlantis. Because then Seven says, don't you mean Atlantis? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Maybe we get to go to Atlanta. Words were necessary. Everything she would have tried to tell me, I could already see in her eyes. Uh-oh. Let's go. Do they have a thing? I turned and headed toward the results screen. Sigma. <laughs> I heard her behind me, her voice barely louder than a whisper. The choice was already made. I stood up straight and kept walking. Sigma. That's the sound from Dynamo. No, it's not. They betrayed him. Yeah, I think that's. Fuck you. Of course he did. Of course he did. Well, this is not looking good for us. I mean, we're dead. And on the other hand, K and Dio both have 9 BP. Oof. Big oof. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. <laughs> Dead. What? Sigma's BP is... Negative. Suddenly, all eyes were on me. I felt their weight, but stood my ground. It was the result I had expected. I took a deep breath and closed my eyes. I didn't have to wait long. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparil. I blinked. My vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. Sigma! 
Sigma! Hang on! Hey! Sigma! Get up! Sigma! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Trying to open my eyelids was like trying to lift sheets of lead. My eyes had lost the ability to focus, but I could make out a blur that it had to be Dio in front of the number nine door. Damn it! You'll keep your promise! God damn it! I groaned and with a Herculean effort lifted my head. And then my sluggish body off of the floor. Every step was a battle. Whenever I shifted my weight, my muscles threatened to give out again. But somehow, I forced myself ahead, a single thought burning in my mind. I would reach Dio. Then, at last, the smudge of color faded into a recognizable person. I threw out my hand in front of him. Give, give it back. Give me uh, the medicine. Give it back? Don't act like it's yours. Are we supposed to share everything we find here? I don't care. Just hand me the medicine. What are you talking about? I found the Accelivir in the laboratory. And Dio stole it. Wh what? You, you mean he has it right now? Yeah, so? I kept my promise. Now, you. I wasn't a fool. I knew the kind of person Dio was. There was a chance he wouldn't give us back the Accelivir. If he didn't, then I'd die with my hands around his throat. I gathered as much of my mind as I could and got ready to attack. <laughs> Fine. Not quite what I'd been expecting. Here. With a shrug, he pulled the vial out of his pocket and tossed it toward me. Oh no. I caught it and pulled the tiny glass bottle to my chest, where it might drop it. The label said, unmistakably, Accelivir. It was the real thing. Clover. Take it. I held out I held it out toward her. Right. Of course. She quickly tucked it into her pocket. What? Pocket. Good. Yeah, I know, right? I they're really small. The pockets. No, the the Excelivir bottles. Oh. They're they're, they're really tiny. But yeah, okay. I know. It looked like it was, you know, the, like she does this not big. have any pockets in those shorts. <laughs> Now at least Quark will be all right. With that, the last of my strength left me, and I dropped to my knees. <gasps> Sigma, are you okay? Sigma, Sigma. All the ladies they concerned. They love him. I guess this is it. First is the sofa reel. Let's put you to sleep. <sighs> Nine minutes later, the tubo cure ring is injected. Muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. Nine minutes. Once the soap roll was injected, I had nine minutes until the muscle relaxant followed it. About four minutes had already passed, which left me with five, give or take a little. In five minutes, I would be dead. What could I do in five minutes? How can I save myself? <laughs> I gave a raspy, quiet laugh. Even with death staring me in the face, I seemed to be determined to struggle right up until the very end. Okay, Sigma. You can do this. Clinging desperately to what little consciousness I had left, I racked my brain for any possible solutions. How could I save myself? How? There had to be something. Every problem, no matter how difficult, has a solution. There's always another option. Hopelessness is a state of mind. I just had to think. Think, think, think! If there was a way out, I'd find it. I wasn't ready to give up on life yet. 
There had to be an answer. I'd be looking for metal to put under the bracelet so the injectors couldn't get to me. It's to be continued. I'm sorry, what? Yep. To be continued. So, I'm going to show you the flow chart. Oh. So, you guys haven't seen the flow chart yet. I showed it to Kimmy because I was excited about it. Good lord. You guys remember the flow chart in 999, right? Well, Virtue's Last Reward is a little more complicated. So, this is the route that we took. You get to see it now. We chose to go through the yellow door with Tenmyoji. We chose to ally Tenmyoji. Mm -hmm. Here, we chose to go through the red door with Dio. And then here, we chose to ally. Now, this right here, lock number three. So we don't have the keys to unlock this yet. Gotcha. So but there's two as more you things. Can see, there's uh, it it can continue, which is kind of interesting. That is interesting. So this is the it, this is the exact route that I took the first time I played. I chose I chose Ten Miyoji, Ally Dio Ally. That's really weird. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, we got our first, uh, I guess, uh, route semi-complete Yeah. in this game. But I do want to ask you how you want to proceed. Because we can jump anywhere and make a different decision. So we could jump now to betray. We could jump now to the novel section right here, uh -huh. the AB game. We could hit betray and see how that plays out. Okay. And then after that, we could jump back up. Like, we could fully explore this timeline. We could fully explore. Before jumping to other ones. Yes, exactly. And I would recommend doing that. I was going to say, I'm tempted to do that. But. Like, I think we should do the Betray and then the uh, pick. Going through the uh, Door Ten Miyoji again? Because mm -hmm. that's what the other option was. And then go through those two options and then jump up and betray him. Mm, okay. So kind of work our way that back. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that won't be too confusing, you don't think? No. Okay. As opposed to just going all the way back again? No, no, no. Yeah. Then let's do that. That'll be the game plan. Okay. For now. Sounds good. Awesome. Um, another thing about this flow chart, I told Kimmy this, so so y'all are privy to the info too. Uh, this isn't the full flow chart. This is? This isn't. Is not. It is not. Because, so one thing... Um, there's a lot of these locks. You'll see it says lock number three. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't it doesn't show you what's beyond some of the locks in this rudimentary flow chart. So, so we'll like have we'll have to when we unlock other locks, mm -hmm. other locked paths, then we might see some of them continue like past they might where they're grow shown. They might here. grow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, none will be, like, growing to the side or anything like no, that. No, no, no. It's all down. Yeah. Okay. Some of them are longer than others. Yeah. Some of them are much longer than they appear. Joy. So. It does that so you don't spoil yourself, like, ah, that's a true ending route, you know? Yeah. That makes sense. Because uh, when, when he first showed this to me, I was like, oh, okay, so, like, one of these two is a yeah, true ending yeah. route. And he was like... I Not necessarily. Right. So... Yeah. That's interesting. All right. Well, what what do you think? I think it's funny that we found the exact middle route. <laughs> yeah, we did. That's crazy. Well, really, the exact middle would I think if we oh picked this would have been there, yeah. yeah. Uh, Which part of me kind of wanted to, but I was you hoping, want you want to see what happens if you pick, pick betray? You want to just do that now? Yeah, we can do it now. Yeah, let's just do it now. Let's just let's just do that real quick, just so we can show. Yeah. Something something else. And also, I can do this. You can skip dialogue. Oh, I love it. There we go. It's on skip. Oh, so fast. So much faster than the first game. We're going to be skipping a lot. Betray. Betray. All right, we get to hit betray. Because we know that he's going to hit betray. So this will what be What if no it changes if he hits ally? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Clover and I walked slowly out of the AB room. Dio glanced over at us as he exited his own room. I looked away before he could make eye contact. Sigma, 
Why? After all that stuff you said. I mean, it's not like I'm criticizing you. I think you made the right decision. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. I think I would have chosen Betray if I was in your position. It's the we'll longest find another wink in the way, world. All right? Huh? It's the longest wink in the world. She's blinking with the other eye because of how long she's winking. Well, you know, sometimes people wink and they leave it. No. I've never seen anyone do that. You've never seen anybody leave a wink? Not for that long. Well, not for minutes at a time, but they're not going to animate. How do you do... Like, how would you do that in conversation? I guess I can't wink that well. I do this sometimes. I guess it's kind of like this, where it's like, uh, I don't know. Because I'll do that. Yeah. But that's not a wink. That's just closing one eye. Wink is a... It's called holding the pose. It's a quick action. Some people hold the wink. Can't, can't really. Well, that's okay. Whatever. Let's keep playing. Freeze frame moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm the idiot. You I'm just the IG. Have to keep an eye on Dio. I never said you were an idiot. Are you saying I'm an idiot? No. Your tone is calling me an idiot. I'm not touching my face to yours. <laughs> As soon as he gives us an opening, we take it. A and I'm sure Alice will help us too. Did you tell her? It's okay. We can trust Alice. There's no way she told him. Anyway, let's go check the results. Yeah. Of course she told Alice. I know. Little snitch. She's a little snitch. <laughs> So we already know what the results are going to be, but let's confirm. Right? Betray. Oh, sucker! Fuck you! Boom! You thought you could get us? Results from round two of the Ambidex game. Oh, uh, it's going to be will frustrating, Dio. Oh, no. you didn't get your way? Somebody you didn't get the noise. Oh, oh, no. Poor Dio. Poor real Dio. Being such a little sad boy. He didn't get enough voice with points <laughs> to escape. Oh, Dio. Oh, the number nine door is oh. closed. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. <laughs> we get partnered with them. Hey. What the hell is this? Sorry, decided to choose Betray. Oh, so you don't care what happens to Quark? What kind of cold-hearted bastard are you? Jeez. Please, just give it back. Hey, Sigma, what are you talking about? Found the Excelivir in the laboratory. And Dio stole it. What? You mean he has it? Right now? Nah, I don't have it. What? Well, I won't have it in about two seconds. The moment the words left his mouth, I knew what he would plan to do. No! <laughs> don't! Tackle him. I leapt towards him as I spoke, but it was already too late. Dio snatched the vial out of his pocket, brought it up, and threw it to the ground. I threw it on the ground. Oh. Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> Viral cure to the ground. <laughs> what an asshole. You bastard. What are you doing? A promise is a promise. If you'd chosen an ally, this never would have happened. You want to blame someone? Blame yourselves. I had enough. Something snapped in my brain. Bastard! I let out a guttural roar and leapt forward. Only to be stopped short by a firm hand on my arm. It was Phi. Hold it. Why are you stopping me? Because this isn't the time for that. Huh? What do you mean this isn't the time for that? Look at the number nine door. Okay. 
Kay was indeed standing in front of the door. What? What is he? No! Nine. His BP is nine. What? Suddenly, we're all running toward K in the number nine door. K! What, what the hell do you think you're doing? What am I doing? Well, that should be obvious. But if you insist, I am attempting to leave. Are you fucking kidding me? I assure you, I would do no such thing. I am perfectly serious. After a rational assessment of the facts, I have concluded that this is the wisest course of action. What is currently our highest priority? The answer is, of course, to save Quark. He must be taken to a hospital as soon as possible. For that to happen, one of us must escape and call for help. Currently, the only one of us capable of doing so is myself. That is why I intend to escape. And leave us all behind. Unavoidable, but as I said, I do intend to call for help. Couldn't you have at least waited until the next round? Then you could have raised Quark's BP to 9 and taken him with you. And what would happen if Dio was Quark's opponent in the next round? I have no illusions about what Dio would do. This is the most logical choice. The number 9 door has been opened. It will remain open for 9 seconds. But wait! Where's Alice? Ah, yes. Alice is in the AB room. She has collapsed, but you needn't be concerned. She is only sleeping. Oh no! What did you do to Alice? You will need to ask her yourself. I must take my leave. Hey! God damn it! Wait! Dio charged at Kay. But the larger man easily sidestepped him and tumbled nimbly through the door just before it closed. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. We're stuck there forever? Yep. Oh my god. So that, does that mean that Kay doesn't get help? Uh... That's what I would it assume. It would seem to imply that. Quark came over. Yeah. So... Oh my gosh. Yep, that's what happens when you pick Betray there. Unsatisfying. Although you do get to see Dio get really mad. Yeah, that you is You don't do what he nice. says. Yeah. Which is... Which is nice. I was kind of hoping we would beat him a bit. Yeah, just like punch him a bunch. Yeah. So yeah, so Dio proved there that he was willing to A, kill us. Yep. By hitting Betray. And kill Quark. And smash the Accelivere. It wasn't a bluff. Yeah. Yeah. He really is a terrible so, person. Yeah, so he picked the worst of the, you know, he, he picked the worst of two outcomes. Yeah. You know, two Jeez. two sets of outcomes, I should say. You know, if he had picked ally and like he was bluffing about smashing the Accelivere. Yeah. You know, then he's just a, just a rascal. Right. But yeah, his, his motives were sinister both times, both chances he got. Oh my God. Oof. Wow. What yeah. a butt. What a butthead, right? He's such a butt. Fuck Dio.
And he even threw it at us whenever we chose Ally, which shows that he was willing to gamble with right. Quark's life anyway. Apparently he doesn't give a shit about Quark or us. We know that much. Yeah. He just wants to escape. Escape. Strange. But you'd right. say that he had good reasons, so. Yeah. For him, maybe. Mm. So next time, I think we're going to go this route. We're going to pick uh, Tenmyoji instead of going with Dio. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we'll go with Timmyoji again. Yeah. And then we'll be able to we'll go through escape these two room, routes. And then we'll ally or betray, yeah. And then for the next one after that, we'll go back here. We'll go back there and we'll betray Timmyoji. Which I'm excited to see what happens here. Right. Because we know that he picks betray, so. Right. That so that's why there's only one option. It. Yeah. That's interesting. One thing that's interesting to think about, though, is like Tamioji said he wasn't going to, he wasn't going to vote, mm -hmm. um, because Luna had one BP, I think, or Alice did. Alice had one BP, so uh, at this point in the story, we have one BP. So if we pair with him again, he'll have to pick Ally. Yeah. Yeah. So then we so can we have, Ally, and then we, we betray. We know that from. You know, right. that route. So we then Clover assume. will get nine hmm. when we betray, which will be interesting to see. Oh, what yeah. She does. If we betray him there, then she'll have nine. It'll be interesting to see if she does the same thing that Kay just did. Yeah. Or she's like, <laughs> bye. Bye. Good luck. Okay. Well, hmm. I guess we'll find out what happens tomorrow. Ah! This is crazy. So you're enjoying the game so far? Yeah, it's growing on I me. I told a lot. you it's like yeah. it's like it's like nine nine nine, but it's like the A B game adds a whole new dimension to it. It's nine 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 plus survivor. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I like it. And yeah. At first I was not feeling it. I was not feeling this A B game thing. I know, and the graphics are different. Yeah, and it's just Clover's got a weird design. Alice has got a weird design, like Yeah. Dio, Which like is what's still with the annoying. circus ringleader thing? There's a kid. Luna's yeah. really boring. Yeah. A kid who knows his grandfather's drinking habits, which yeah. is kind of strange to me. Yeah, yeah. And then but... like there's a, a tough old guy, like it's just, it's not a very interesting cast right off the bat. Yeah, it's very odd. Yeah. But I like it now. Dio definitely spices things up. Yes. That little fart. That little fart nugget. He is a fart nugget. Okay, well, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for the next episode. Think critically.